Oh, look at all that coming out. Oh my gosh. All right, we've noticed a buck on this property that's got a big abscess in his jaw. It's also known as lumpy jaw. Long story short, lumpy jaw is actually an arterial worm. It's a parasite and it gets in the jaw of the white-tailed deer a lot and then it creates this huge abscess, this pocket of infection and it can really, it can kill the host uh, more times than not. Sometimes the deer can live for months and months, sometimes a year, but it eventually kills the host in most cases. I've been watching him and he's progressively looking worse and worse. There's some characteristics that tell me that he's not feeling good. Squinty eyes, ears back. So we've got a permit with FWC. Our licensing allows me to be able to tranquilize and try to save this deer if we can. So we're in a ground blind. It's nice and early. He's been coming to the spot pretty much every evening with another bachelor group of bucks. And so I've got my <clears throat> Excalibur from New Dart. This is a tranquilizer gun. It sends a tranquilizer dart out there. I should be able to hit anything within about 40 yards accurately. We've got the dart loaded. Everything's ready here. We're set up. So all we need him to do is come in. And there's a lot of things that have to go right in order for this to work. Got some young bucks coming in. He's good and asleep, but I'm going to put this mask on him. And this is just, just going to keep him asleep uh, while we work on him. You can see why I wanted to get this deer tranquilized and taken care of because he is a nice buck. Now you can't just go out and dart deer and tranquilize deer. We have a special permit through FWC to be able to do what we're doing here today. To be down there, you can see the backbone on this deer. The backbone's showing. That means he's not feeling too good. And he's got infection, so we've got to treat him. And you can see that infection all in there. This is called lumpy jaw. And you can see all that, it's a big lesion. And it is filled, if I squeeze that, it's actually squirting out, completely filled with infection. So let me get this mask off out of the way. I don't want to get any of this on me at all, on my skin. And so what I'm going to do is just try to squeeze out as much of this as I can. It's a giant abscess and it's, it's that big around. That's the whole thing there. And it's just filled with infection. So once we get all this out of here, as much as possible, I'm going to then give him antibiotics. It's going to give him a lot of relief. Try to get all this cleared out. I know. This is penicillin. And the problem with penicillin is you're supposed to treat it daily. And obviously we can't treat it daily. This is a one-time deal. So I'm going to give penicillin all in here to try to just kill any of this infection that I can. And I'm going to give him some penicillin intermuscular. Always draw back, make sure you're not in a vein. So this is another antibiotic called New Floor. One of the best things for lumpy jaw is New Floor. That's what we're doing here. That's a heavy duty antibiotic. This is a worm medicine to kill any type of worms or intestinal parasites. So this is blue coat. What this is gonna do, it's an antiseptic fungicide and it's gonna help protect this wound from any type of insects that try to get in here and lay eggs. I'm gonna hit him right there where I hit him with the dart. This is the two reversal drugs in combination. It's gonna metabolize the drug that I gave this deer to tranquilize. And he should wake up in just a few minutes. 
Sometimes they wake up within 60 seconds and sometimes it takes four or five minutes, but they wake up pretty quick. There's one. There's two. And he is reversed. Look at that buck. A lot of times when they have an injury like he does, they'll be messed up on one side and it's usually opposite side to where the injury is. You can see that abscess is on his left side of his jaw. That's probably why his right side is kind of messed up like that. What an awesome animal. What an awesome buck. Let's get out of the way before you guys up. Hey, I know I always say stay wild. Sometimes it's just a, just a touch, just a toke over the line. <laughs> all right, this is part of Florida. These are all ticks right here. Every little brown spot you see on my pants. Little tip for you, I take a lint roller, a sticky lint roller, and I lint roll as many of these ticks as I can. Now, of course, I'm not, I'm not using my uh, Ranger Ready. I was out in a rush this morning or today, this evening, and forgot. And uh, of course I'm covered, both legs, absolutely covered. Those are all ticks, look at that. Tell me that's not insane. All right, I got the majority. Look at that. Get a new roll. It's about, I don't know, 1,500 little ticks if you ask me. All right guys, we're heading to church. We got the boys and Judy back there behind us and Glory's driving so I can edit this video. Um, but just wanted to give you guys an update. The buck is looking great. He's back to normal, completely healthy, looking awesome. Seen him several times over the past week or so uh, on game camera and once in person. So he's doing great. Just to give you guys another update, I didn't sleep for about four nights because of all those tick bites. So I always use, not always, but I try to always use Ranger Ready or some type of permethrin spray. This stuff works 100% of the time when you remember to put it on. We'll put a link in the description so you guys can go check out their products, keep ticks, chiggers, any of that stuff off of you during the warm season. You have to, you cannot go into the woods about nine months out of the year in Florida, you will die. Everything out there wants to kill you. So I didn't sleep for about four nights just because of the itching. Lori Ann got him pretty bad on her and she's been itching like crazy. I actually had to go to the doctor and get a prescribed cream to stop from the itching because I was itching my skin off. But all that's behind us. We're not gonna go in the woods without our permethrin. And, uh, but just wanted to give you guys that update. Happy uh, Sunday and happy 4th of July weekend. And uh, love you guys. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, stay wild. Well.